They're inexpensive devices that can change handguns into illegal machine guns. You may have heard of them called Glock switches or conversion switches. Our CBS 11 team has spent the last year or so telling you about the fast growing use of these illegal switches in North Texas. Well, tonight, investigative reporter Brian New is showing you at an undercover operation to find those who are making them. 621, can you run a gun for me? 10 4. So what is this thing right here? North Texas police officers have reported finding more of them. Is it just a, you know? Both on the streets and advertised on social media. You name the social media platform and they're advertising these things for sale. But the bigger fear federal officials say is that these small illegal devices that turn handguns into mini machine guns are being made right here in North Texas. We've been uh, told that you can make one of these in less than 20 minutes. A, a little switch that you put on the back of your handgun that's going to make it a full auto machine gun. Last spring, we sat down with the head of the ATF of the Dallas Field Division. He told us that the feds had recently cracked down on overseas websites selling Glock switches. So we asked him if he felt the problem was under control. He then took us back to their evidence room to show us this 3D printer that had been used to make conversion switches. The fear, he told us, was there were more of these out there. We now know what he couldn't tell us at the time was that the ATF had launched an undercover investigation that would eventually prove his fear was founded. According to court records, last February, a Fort Worth police officer reached out to the ATF after a surge in gang shootings where officers found Glock switches on handguns. The ATF then launched an undercover operation, leading them from gang members in Fort Worth to a supplier of switches in Arlington. Ayub Wally was arrested and pleaded guilty last month to federal charges of possessing and selling Glock switches. Prosecutors used text messages and videos on Wally's phone as evidence. But investigators wanted to know not just who was selling these devices, but who was making them. That led them to Garland. According to court records at this apartment complex, an undercover ATF agent purchased nearly three dozen handgun switches from a man named Xavier Watson. Watson then allegedly showed the undercover agent the 3D printers he used to make them, telling the agent between the two 3D printers, he could produce 400 machine gun conversion devices in a day. He also told the undercover agent, according to court records, he had even sent some out in the mail, concealing them inside a Mr. Potato Head toy. Watson was arrested and faces federal charges of possession and transfer of machine guns. Watson has entered a plea of not guilty. His attorney told the CBS 11 I team the process has just begun and they were looking forward to a full and fair process. The number of switches recovered nationwide by the ATF rose from less than 100 in 2017 to more than 1,500 last year. And so far this year, the ATF Dallas Field Division alone has seized more than 775 Glock switches. Right now, I have, I'm fully confident that a lot of this stuff is being made right here locally in the DFW area with individuals with 3D printers. But while efforts to crack down on these illegal devices has intensified, so is the challenge. When the undercover agent met with Watson, according to court records, Watson showed him a prototype of a new switch. One that he says was even smaller, barely noticeable, and could be made with a 3D printer. With the I-Team, Brian New, CBS 11 News.